starting today a major crackdown on asylum seekers under the care of the New York City shelter system. Single adult male migrants now have to prove they're dealing with extenuating circumstances. This in order to stay with the system for more than 30 days. Yeah, right now there are about 65,000 migrants in the shelter system. About 15,000 of them are single adult males. And that means potentially 15,000 more people could likely be sleeping on the streets of New York. I want to news reporter Joe Torres live in Midtown Manhattan with what could be another kind of mini crisis. Joe? Well, Bill and Liz, the influx of migrant arrivals here in New York City has not let up. Some of them still here at the Roosevelt Hotel. 1,300 arrived last week, 1,100 the week before. The mayor and the administration say this latest update to their policy does three things. Helps migrants in the next steps of what has been a lengthy journey. Reduces the strain on the shelter system. And lastly, makes room for the migrants that are still to come. Here at the city's migrant processing center in the East Village, it's the dawn of a new day for the men and women applying, and in some cases reapplying, for shelter. The city's latest, more restrictive eviction policy took effect today. Adult migrants given a 30-day eviction notice one month ago will be removed from the shelter system. If we would not have done anything, we would have had 198 thousand people still in our care instead of 65,000. The city will evict about 250 migrants from the shelter system this week, and the number will grow to roughly 15,000 migrants currently housed in city-funded hotels, dorms, and facilities across the five boroughs. Under the new policy, those who reapply for a longer stay must now show they have extenuating circumstances or prove they've made significant efforts to resettle. Every single week, we still get hundreds, if not thousands, of people coming into the system, and we need to make sure that we have the space to, to take care of the new guests that are coming into the city as well. The new policy does not apply to migrant families with children. Nonetheless, advocates for migrants and the homeless quickly denounced the updated rules. Evicting families from shelter is not the answer to this crisis, read the statement issued by Wynn CEO Christine Quinn, who added, instead of scapegoating our newest arrivals, we need comprehensive reforms at the city level that will get families into permanent housing faster. The president of the New York Legal Assistance Group had this no. prediction. We suspect as a community that they're going to wind up in the streets. I believe that we are going to see a rise in street homelessness this summer as the individuals receive a 30 day notice and they don't have extenuating circumstances to be able to stay in shelter longer. So what are some of those extenuating circumstances? Well, here are a few. An upcoming immigration hearing. That'll get you a longer stay in the shelter. A serious medical procedure that you've got scheduled within the next 30 days. Or if you're 18 to 20 years old and you're currently enrolled in high school. Live in Midtown, I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.